If you would like to add units of measure, you can do it two ways. One way is from the item list. Go to Lists, Item List, and double click on any of the items. And if the units of measure are activated, you will see the unit of measure, and you can choose one that's already there or add a new one. Or you can do it through your UM set list, which is the units of measure set list. If you would like to add units of measure this way, go to UM set, add new, and QuickBooks will ask you what it is that you would like to add. Let's say we would like to choose the count, which is each box case dozen, which means that we buy an item by the case and sell it one by one. The base unit will be each. Select Next. Let's say that we would like to add dozen and case. Select Next. And let's say there are 24 units per case. And obviously there are 12 units per dozen. So what QuickBooks is telling you is that you have two dozen units in a case of 24. Now you have to define how you purchase these items, whether you purchase them by each, but usually you purchase them by the case. QuickBooks will also ask you how you sell them, and you usually sell them one by one, or by the each, and then also how you are most commonly shipping these items. Let's say you ship them by the each. Name the unit of measure. Let's say we're going to name it each to case and dozen and click the Finish button. Now you will see your first unit of measure appear on your UM set list. If you double click on it, a warning will appear that any changes you make to this unit will affect all items that use that unit of measure. Click OK and you will see a summary of the setup we just did.